Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I'll have a quick look at Kali Linux for the Pinebook Pro. Kali Linux is aimed at InfoSec and this is not your average Linux distribution. And they actually have a free online training and I would like to add that I am in no way associated to offensive security. And for instance, I don't receive any referral bonus whatsoever. Because they also have uh, paid trainings. And well, they're also affected by the pandemic. So you can get the free book as a PDF file. And well, perhaps when I have some more time, perhaps I will dig into this. But for the time being, I was just curious. And when you look at the kind of programs it has, so it has an exploit database, there's Hydra. And well, I'm not really sure what Kali on the cover mode is, but I couldn't find things like LibreOffice. And of course, it's not really aimed at those kind of software packages. Um, I was surprised that uh, Kazam actually is installed by default. And perhaps some people will remember that I tried Kazam on the default Debian image and it was really horrible. And it didn't work with H.264. So I think I tested it once with AVI and it was a huge file. But here it works with H.264. So it produces very small files. I was also surprised to see that uh, it actually comes with a media player. Um, not really sure where that one went. But anyway, um, when you use Kali Linux, then probably you are here for programs like Hydra. And well, please do not use in military or secret service organizations or for illegal purposes. And here it says Hydra is a tool to guess, crack, valid login, password pairs. So that's the kind of software you can expect with Kali Linux. Like I said, I was surprised that you do actually have some um, media oriented programs uh, like Kazam, a Parole Media Player, interestingly enough. But at least on the Pinebook, Pinebook Pro, the audio isn't working. So I went through all the suggestions here. Um, yeah, I executed this and that didn't work. I rebooted, I tried this and gedit is not installed, but you can replace it with nano. Rebooted, didn't work either. I tried to install Alsa, 
but then I get this error message so I gave up and I think I'm not really sure if it was here but somewhere it said that audio doesn't work for root but it does work for normal users well who knows I also sent an email to Offensive Security and I asked them if you can use the Pinebook Pro for all their trainings and exams. And some of the exams are proctored. And there are minimum hardware requirements and I'm not really sure if the Pinebook Pro, I don't think, well, by default, I think the cores go up to two gigahertz. So you're just a bit shy of 2.2. Four gigabytes is the minimum, eight gigabytes is recommended. And it also says something about a GPU and they're also quite picky for instance Nouveau is not supported for Nvidia perhaps someone tried the Janus WebRTC screen sharing Chrome extension it's interesting to see that I don't think Chrome is installed by default you get Firefox but to be really honest, for the proctored exams, I don't think that it will work with the Pinebook Pro. And I think also with the uh, training environments that you need to have a virtual box or VMware player. And as far as I know, I don't think that is available for the Pinebook Pro. So in short, can you use Kali Linux for your everyday needs? Well, that probably depends on your needs. And as long as you don't need audio, then probably you'll be fine. I haven't really tested any of the software because I think it's better that you first do the training before you start playing around with Kali Linux. But it is nice to see that there is already a image available. And I already showed it in my previous video, but perhaps I can find it again. Well, I'll also Put the link in the description and here it is well it's also available for Chromebooks and of course for Raspberry Pi Odroid well I think I have a very old Odroid and not the one that is listed So that is my quick look at Kali Linux. Again, when you're in the field of InfoSec, then this is really interesting. But for now, this is a bit above my league. So that is all that I will show you today about Kali Linux.